Um, I'm Rodney Lowe, and uh, I, I'm, I try to, I'm trying to consider myself as a, an oil painter. I always invite people in to say, what sort of art do you do, you know, just to get them talking. My wife and I put an offering on a, a condo downtown Burlington, and the same day my wife said, you got to get a studio because you're not doing it in a single one bedroom condo. So I, I found this place, fortunately, that same day. I've, I've always, you know, played around since I was a kid, just, just drawing and sketching and, you know, building models and, you know, what have you. Uh, and then I, you know, moved into corporate America. I was an IT guy. And, I retired fairly early. I was fortunate enough to be able to do that. So this was my uh, latest, the latest series I've been working on was all of these people in hats. I tend to work in series, I've done series of people with a series of eyes, very close-ups of the eyes of animals and people's eyes. Uh, I've done dancers, um, I, a few emotions like the, the teardrop up there was, a, was a, one of the emotions that I, I, I keep thinking I'm giving up on the, the idea of, of drawing people in hats but then I have friends who you know post things like this on their Facebook page and say Damn it! I've got to paint that one. It's such a great, a great starting material. Um, and I painted one of my wife up there, which which I had on the easel for months this year because I couldn't get it right. I still neither of us are happy with it, so it's uh, I'm going to have to. I'll scrap it and start I'll start again. Um, so this was our itinerary that we were following. So I. It, all of this is written into this in different sort of different size fonts, different shapes. Uh, some of it you may not be able to work out. And, I, and on this thing here, I, I sort of I made a copy of it and and uh, traced it in, in orange, so you can you can actually follow their trip. The the abstract stuff is when I'm cleaning my palette off after six months or so. I don't want to waste the paint, so that's when I do the abstract stuff and it's fun it's fun and it's a whole different whole different ball game my tools that i use all the time that I, I want to have easily at hand i mean i've got a toolbox there with, with things that i don't use as frequently but you know I, i'm using scissors tape i use all the time when i'm it, it, i mean if i'm wrapping something up with somebody the brushes that i use for for putting making the panels gray um i don't want to get those mixed up with the work my working brushes so i just time them here I don't know why I brought the hat here, but it's been here forever. I mean, it's a, from Cuba, you know, it's from a visit to Cuba. Do you have any advice for anyone who's looking to get into the art, but they kind of feel stuck maybe in the corporate world like you were, and would you advise them to shift, or what would you advise them? You, you know, you've got to do what makes sense to you. I always, I always enjoyed doing whatever art I was doing, and that's the main thing. As long as you're doing what, enjoying doing what you're doing, whether it's what I, you know, I'm painting, drawing, music, dance, whatever it is, just just get out and do something other than the day-to-day -day stuff. How I wish, how I wish you were here. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl, year after year. Running over the sand.